kitchen i'm samantha and on today's episode i'm going to show you how to make this pressure cooker bean ham and sausage recipe it's a southern delicacy and a lot of people make it in so many different ways this is how i make it so stay tuned and enjoy the first step is to heat some oil in the pressure cooker and i'm going to add a sausage to this now this is like tandoorian style sausage you can find any cajun or new orleans sausage and make this something spicy basically and we just want to cook this for about two minutes so after cooking my sausage for about two minutes now we're going to add all our veggies we're going to add an onion celery green bell pepper and some ginger and we're going to cook this till the vegetables soften a bit so my veggies have cooked down it took me about seven minutes and now we're going to add all our spices. So we start off with bay leaves, thyme leaves, dried thyme, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic powder and cumin powder. Just going to mix that really well. And now we're going to add ham which is my favorite. And we're also going to add the red beans red large kidney beans this is a pound and i soak this overnight and we're also going to add some chicken broth and we're going to cover this and bring it to full pressure I went ahead and covered my pressure cooker with the lid turned up my heat too high and we're going to bring this up to full pressure and I've not added salt to this dish just because ham is very salty by itself and we'll check for seasonings at the end. And I'm going to uh, cook this for about 35 to 45 minutes. So my dish cooked for 45 minutes and this is what it looks like. Now there's a trick if you want to thicken your soup, you can just use a potato masher and just kind of mash the beans in. It'll just slowly start, it start, it'll start to thicken and you can just stop when you feel like taste for seasoning if you need salt go add it but i don't need salt in mine it's perfectly seasoned i'm going to plate this and show it to you so the dish is perfectly seasoned it's nice hot and spicy if you want it less spicy and hot then add a little less of cayenne and i really didn't need to add salt in mine because i added ham which is already a little salty and you can top this up with some hot sauce at the end which is completely optional and serve it with some rice and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. So I hope you had fun with me on today's episode. And I sure hope you go and give this a try. It is so simple, delicious and so easy. And uh, I'll see you soon on more exciting episodes with me. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And check out my Facebook page as well. Till then take care and bye.